actually did hit the Centurion line for like 10 minutes, and it's already getting freaking crazy back. So we're just gonna hit flagship because it's better anyways. give you a card flagship we made it to flagship first in Miami look at me chilling in the movie room honestly so much less busier since you can only get access if you're flying flagship first or business on international or transcontinental flights so it doesn't seem like they're serving drinks quite yet because it is early in the morning, about 6.45, 7 a.m. So we are gonna be here for the next hour and a half, two hours, and I'm gonna show you around. And unfortunately, we're going to miss Flagship Dining, which is their a la carte. You can basically order meals with them and they'll cook them up. Flagship Dining, dining is just a much more catered to approach, but the food seems even better than the Centurion when I was in there, so. I'm excited for it. Let's check it out. I am sure many of you enjoy having drinks in the lounge just like I do, but you would rather not be groggy, not have headaches, and still be feeling good when you land after a long day of travel. So typically, I am always packing my travel electrolytes to make sure that I'm feeling good after having some nice drinks in the lounge and enjoying my time there. But highly recommend that you just try to stay away from making this mistake. This is what I use when I'm traveling the electrolytes, but not even that. They got everything. They got energy electrolytes. I'm telling you, they got top-notch ingredients. They got greens, immunity with vitamin C. And I'm not gonna lie, the, the sleep one, they have sleep, it's really nice. Um, I, I did that last night, used these. The last few nights, they have been fantastic. If you're on maybe a overnight flight, it might be perfect, but Dude, they got it all. I, I recommend you know getting a party pack of these because then you get everything from energy to immunity to greens to the normal electrolyte mix. I mean, they're fire. So Sky MD, that's kind of my go-to when I'm traveling because it makes me feel good. I'm gonna put them in my in my slammers. So.
So as you guys can see, pretty solid. Look, bang. It's not as busy. I mean, I went into the Centurion Lounge and within 10 minutes there was 25 people. Miami is a very busy airport, so the Centurion here, I've never had problems, but I know many people have had problems with the Centurion. But I went in there for 10 minutes. Spread here is nice. You get, you know, they have an omelet bar. Usually they have flagship dining, but that doesn't open until noon. So if you're here before noon, beware of that. As you can see, the lounge has plenty of space. It's massive, plenty of food options, plenty of drinks, and it does share, you know, the same floor as an Admiral's Club. But I hope you appreciated the walkthrough of that. I look forward to you guys having your first experience or multiple experiences at the flagship lounge. I know I'm looking forward to my next one and I appreciate you guys watching. We will see you next time.